flood. Net. Net. Dog. Dog. Hmm. How do I retrieve it? I need to retrieve this. Hmm. Maybe I go put the net on the pipe? I don't know. I like games like this too. And there's like creepy moments as well. Hooray! Okay, time to go flood this shit! the creepy organ music start playing? With tears. Nope. We go cut up some bitches with some tears, man. <laughs> Mirror doesn't work on the tapestry. Oh shit! We, we are making religious imagery. Only I could make it shine. Zip, zip, zip. <laughs> oh, our mother is crying. Oh my lord, what does it mean? What have I done? What have we done? <laughs> Alright, let's go see what this guy needs. Yo! You, you must help me. <coughs> what can I do? What's wrong with you? There is little time. I tell them about my pain. I describe the unbearable and endless pain. Yet they do not listen. They pass me by without even looking at me. They say that they are praying for me, but this does not cure my ailment. But, sir, I... I know, but I beseech you! You will be saving me from horrible torture. I will be eternally indebted to you. Oh, shit, what? What? Oh, man, do we kill him? Do we kill him? I assume we're trying to kill him. Kill him, murder him, don't get morphine, do it, kill, try the morphine. Oh no. We could kill him with morphine. I'm very sorry, sir. I do not wish to extend your suffering, but you can I cannot pay for your release at the cost relief at the cost of your life. You asked me to show your shoulder terrible burden. I understand the magnitude of what I'm asking. Thanks anyway, sir. He said no. Let's go see if I can use the morphine. <laughs> Zazabar, please!
It won't let me take the morphine. Can't use the morphine. I kind of wanted to kill him because now I feel bad. He needs to die. I wanted to give him the morphine, Gray. I thought that would let me back out and come back later. God damn it. I tried to talk to Elizabeth, she was busy praying. Are we stuck now? Feels like we're stuck now. I can't bludgeon him with the wood. I feel like we're not going to be able to progress. <laughs> Can you please? Mother Elizabeth, one of the patients has begged me to end his life. Is there anything we can do to alleviate his suffering? No more than is already being done by mortal hands, Mr. DeWitt. It is for God alone to decide the moment of his release. That is all I can do for him. Sorry, this is all I can do. Take this for him. Thank you, Mother. I leave you with your duties. Are you serious? Mr. Wants to realize that specific instructions even not be disturbed, not even by the sisters. Can I leave? Who's Mr. Baldwin? Once in your instructed me to take him on his caretaker, many of the sisters find him a bit strange, but he performs his work well and complains a little. Can I leave? Let me leave. I want I wanna leave. Still priest to professor before he came once in your decided to leave this place. Have there been many deaths lately? Mother Elizabeth, Mr. Baldwin told me that lately a lot of patients are dying. What is happening? Sadly the Lord is taking many of these unfortunate souls. Do you say that you care for the patients? Of course, Mr. DeWitt. We tend to both the physical and spiritual needs of those in our care. Okay, now how do I escape? Excuse me. I wish to leave. I wish to leave. How do I leave? This is Hotel California. I can't escape. What is what is the button to escape? For unfortunate souls in pain, in need. Oh, last one. I didn't even see because it, it was grayed out. <laughs> Whatever. Uh, let me know if the game just froze again because I accidentally tapped out again. There's a note on the bed. Baldwin lies, Baldwin lies, Baldwin lies, Baldwin lies, Baldwin lies! Reading is hard. I thought it was the same option as last time. <laughs> oh shit. Noise is coming from inside the coffin. Are you serious? What in heaven? I cannot open the coffin with my own hands. The lid is nailed. The log is too soft to use as a lever and open the coffin. Use the Bible! Shit. Shit. A grave recently dug. How, how do I... I need... I need something to open the coffin with. More. A nun's habit and walking stick. These no doubt belong to the nuns I spoke to by the window. But where did she go? Uh, a lot. The Lost Pilgrim, a sea stack older students at the school used to cry, climb somewhere up there are my initials.
And then went skinny dipping, that's kind of what I thought. <laughs> How do I help him? I can't take the stick. It wouldn't let me. That's why I kept clicking it. I'll show you. You can't get the stick. Yeah, I want the shovel the guy was using, but I don't know where it went. Hmm. Let's go check the stuff I had in. Um, unless I seem really stuck, try not to give me the answers if you 100% know them. Because it's, then it's just a walkthrough. It looks like a tool box, so I wonder if there's something useful in it. I might be able to take a look if I keep him distracted. Look man, the Bible! Isn't that cool? Nope. Look, a log! about this place. Oh god, no, I don't care about this place. She's pretty strict, I can tell you that much. I don't think she likes me very much. Aberdeen! It's a place where I was born and raised, one of the biggest cities in Scotland. If you look there towards the northeast... Yoink! <laughs> <laughs> oh, hey, you seem a bit distracted, Mr. DeVitt. Oh, do not worry about it. I'm very interested in Scotland. I love Scotland. Hello? Hey! Oh. The darkness of his eye! His body is petrified. He has a look of sheer terror in his eyes. Oh my god, but what has happened? Talk! Talk to me! Mother Elizabeth is trying to make him come to his senses. <laughs> the old Scotland roundabout talk trick. There's Mother Elizabeth, there you go. Give him the Bible. Maybe music will help. Is it helping? Poke him with a stick. Hmm. What's going on in this game? Um, we received a mysterious letter from our recently dead friend. And he said to come back here. And also there are evil crows. Oh yeah, she's distracted. Shit, let's go talk to Mun Monsignor. Sorry, bruh. Laters. <laughs> Option five of chatting. Holy shit, someone is trapped in a coffin. <laughs> The door is locked. Nope. Bible. Nope. Coin. Nope. A bright and ornate key. Mine. Hey, bro. Wait, wait. Oh, we flashback. Don't look into his eyes. Oh. Because the deepest darkness dwells in his eyes. Come in, my son. Do you think 
you could hide these books from me. They are just classic philosophy books, Father. Plato and Aristotle. Silence, instruments of falsehood you mean. Fallacies coming from the snake. Now, son, get on your knees and raise your... Oh, apologize to the Lord. <laughs> Pray to the Lord. Malomincy. Evil in itself. A strange eye shape symbol. <laughs> Hi. Hi. Eye of the bird. What does this mean? Set of crucifixes next to the door. Lord, your eyes burn me. I don't deserve mercy nor forgiveness. O oh Lord, have mercy on my soul. Who are you sending me? Is it death to whom you are handing me over? Has my hourglass already run out of sand? Father Ernest? Ernest? It has been many years since I last heard that name since... Oh, I see. Father, I'm here to be able to remember. You have to help me, I beg you. Pleas, entreaties, petitions, praying, torment, exemption, past times bring us just misfortune and pain. Father Ernest, I was one of your students. One of my old students, you say? It is only the Lord who teaches us. We must follow his ordinances and disciplines. Get closer, son. Come pray next to me. No, don't do it. A makeshift altar is coated in a dense layer of wax. The candles, having almost burnt out, only barely illuminate the room. A creepy image of Christ crucified, and explicitly it has a dark cloth covering his head. A large burn covering his eyes. He is completely blind! Despite his decrepitude, extreme thinness, and paleness, I can still recognize Father Ernest. But he seems far away, like in another world. Glory to be to the Father, and the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be. Now, my son, tell the Lord which one is his voice, the sharp sword, the wise quill, or the delicate petal. Ah, shit. Time to offend some religious people if I say the wrong thing and then the game will eat me. Beat some sense into him with the Bible. Two, two. I'm seeing lots of quill. The wise quill. <gasps> no, 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 you're enveloped by sin! And now, my son, tell the Lord which one is his holy path, the wise virtue, the endless blame, or the blessed penance. Three. The endless blame? <laughs> Guys, please. I'm thinking penance. The blessed penance. No, 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 your soul lives embraced by the darkness. And now, my son, tell the Lord who are you? The faceless pilgrim, the gate guard, or the lost seaman? (laughs) 
I don't know if there are right answers to this shit. Of course, everyone's voting semen. <laughs> <laughs> Is an old semen lost really? I'm not immature. Well, yes, yes, that's it, my son. We live lost in an endless ocean of sin and blame. Now leave me alone. I have to purify my soul. Fuck is going on there? <coughs> Dear God in heaven, I feel for you. Your light is in my eyes. I will burn them for you. Dear God in heaven, I feel myself in you. Your eyes are my soul. I will burn it for you. Dear God in heaven, I fear myself in you. Your sword is in my hands. I will burn them for you. Dear God in heaven, I hate myself in you. My blame is in your heart. I will burn myself for you. I don't know if this guy should hang around with candles. <coughs> okay, bye! Well, I got his razor blade. Maybe I should restrain him. Eat Bible. Hey. <laughs> All right, I got th I got the razor. I'm gonna go uncover that room now. And finally, our expert on philosophy, Jeremiah DeWitt, shows up. Where were you, my friend? We have been looking for you. Well, as I was saying, tonight is the perfect moment for our next meeting. But I suspect that someone outside our group is secretly surveying us. Who is it, Anthony? My dearest friends, it is Professor Glynn. Do you mean Father Ernest? Certainly, no doubt about it. Therefore, dear colleagues, I have decided to change the venue for tonight's meeting. Have you noticed the lounge behind the small door of the classroom? I have believed convenient to borrow the key for our necessities. You already know at twelve o'clock you will find that door opened, and I'll be inside the lounge. That is it, my dearest colleagues. Videne crisiat. Bye, Zatir. Is that guy still trapped in his coffin? No, we freed him and he died on the floor or something. I remember that this furniture we used to keep remember that in this furniture we used to keep some of our personal belongings. Now it is empty. The walls are in complete disarray. I could probably punch through it if I tried. You should try. <laughs> I remember that this is the bed where I used to sleep when I was a student here. Dusty mirror. Why? Why would you do that? My god, why? Mr. Rabbit was jumping through the forest in a warm spring afternoon. Okay. When going through a bush, Mr. Rabbit ran into Mr. Wolf, Mr. Vulture, and Mrs. Snake, who were having a heated argument.
Mr. Rabbit curious asked them, Dearest, why are you arguing in this beautiful and cheery spring afternoon? Mr. Wolf answered politely, What we are trying to decide here is who of us will have the pleasure to eat you up. Mr. Rabbit, really scared, said, But I do not want to be eaten. I want to live. To which Mr. Snake answered, smiling, that is impossible to happen, Mr. Rabbit, since we all, both you and us, are going to die sooner or later. Don't you think so? Hey, Fred. There's something by the window! Uh-oh. Mr. Vulture added, Mrs. Snake is right. We should stick to the issue at hand. It is getting late, and as you see, we do not agree. Do you want to help us decide, Mr. Rabbit? Who would you suggest as the one to eat you? I don't want to cross this threshold. After thinking about it for a while, Mr. Rabbit came up with an idea and carefully said, I got it. Why not organize a race? The first who arrives to the forest clearing will have the privilege to eat me. No doubt Mr. Wolf can run at high speed, but Mr. Vulture can go flying and avoid any obstacle. And I'm sure that Mrs. Snake knows all the shortcuts within the forest. What do you think? Oh God, what do I do? The three predators agreed that it was fair, so they started the race and quickly disappeared. <laughs> Mr. Rabbit, happy to trick them, started running at high speed in the opposite direction of the predators, who, eager to prove their worth, didn't realize the trick. <laughs> Mr. Rabbit was far away from there, and he finally felt safe, happy and proud of his cunning. But suddenly there was a loud bang, the earth shook, frightened birds flew, and everything went dark. The end. Uh. Ah! Oh god! Why? Oh fuck you! No! Nope! 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 There is something I kept to myself for a long time. And the thing is that I love you. I have always loved you. Since the first time I saw you, since the first time I felt your frozen hand. <laughs> Each time I move away from you, I miss a glossy empty dead eye.